Okay, so I went online to find a video of how to remove a commercial style cylinder lock and uh, what I wound up finding was a lot of uh, one particular set of like six videos that was really convoluted so I just wanted to make something real simple, real quick, real easy on how to remove this type of lock. You're going to need um, a Phillips screwdriver, a really small flat tip screwdriver, um, of course your cylinder lock, you may also need um, uh, a pair of uh, a big like uh, big pliers and uh, some oil like any kind of oil or WD-40 would probably help as well you may under some circumstance need um, hex keys as well so this is real simple you're going to start with this panel right here and this panel is going to be held in by three Phillips screws. So the first thing you're going to do is take those three screws off and take this panel off. Then you're going to have what's called a set screw which holds which holds the lock in place. You're going to go ahead and use your flat tip or your um, hex key to take that out all the way. You'll see this one's out. Once you've done that, all you really have to do then is just twist the lock out. And then put your new thread your new lock in. The only uh, tips I would give you is it's probably a good idea to, um, like I said, it, you know, in order to get this in there well without cross threading it, I would put a little bit of lubricant on these threads. And like I said, other than that, you might need um, a hex key to take off those set screws. Otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching.